But next, I just want to invite uh, Assistant Utilities Director Scott Morris uh, to come forward uh, to provide an update uh, for something that's going to be serving citizens very well going forward. They are finished a pilot program of the advanced metering project, and, and Scott has some of the results of it and the next steps that go with it. And there may even be another state award, I think, you won that you can espouse at the end. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Chairman, members of the board, and Dr. Casey, it's my pleasure to uh, provide a quick update on the advanced metering project for utilities. Uh, first and foremost, I would like to thank you guys for your continued support in maintaining our water and wastewater infrastructure. With that support, we're able to provide safe, reliable, cost-effective, and high-quality water and wastewater services to our customers. Uh, pictured on this slide is an image of an advanced meter. Very similar to a normal meter with a slight technology upgrade to allow improved customer service, higher levels of insight by customers, improvements to operational controls, and enhanced environmental stewardship. The items mentioned are accomplished by bringing our customer metering system into the new digital world with um, using smart meters. Customers will now have access to 15-minute incremental water use data, be able to set leak notifications for um, items like a toilet leak or a faucet leak, be able to look at um, their usage and have uh, the ability, if they have irrigation system, to look at the, the benefits of optimizing the irrigation along with the, the cost of that irrigation system. With the improved reliability of the meters within our system, we'll be replacing um, age uh, meters with uh, new uh, smart meters. And these smart meters will allow our staff to monitor alarms in the system, such as meters that are tampered with, uh, zero flow uh, indication of meters, and then also with leaks. This allows our, our staff to promptly address those issues and get back with the customers very quickly. Um, the smart meters will further reduce our department's um, carbon footprint by eliminating the need for vehicles to transverse the entire county to do manual reads. On the slide right here is a project timeline. I'm gonna briefly go over all this material. The uh, spring of 2021, we did our first article testing. This is about 30 meters. Um, we've completed that testing. This was basically the first phase of the project to make sure everything worked correctly. Um, in the summer of 2021, we did initial deployment area. This is about 480 meters. Um, this were, these were meters spread throughout the county to make sure that the cellular-based signal worked effectively and we were able to get those reads. That has been completed. Um, in the fall of 21, we are uh, implementing the mass deployment. There's a slight change in the schedule. This says October 18th. Um, we did reach out to our meter installation vendor and there was a slight delay in the polymer lid shipment. And rather than have our customers impacted twice by the installation, we defer to doing the installation in November. That way the customer only gets impacted once instead of two times. In 2022, the customer portal will become live and customers will be able to use the uh, customer service portal. And in 2023 and 2024, um, we will be completing the mass um, uh, exchange of all the meters in Chesapeake County. About um, 30 days prior to a uh, customer receiving an exchanged meter, they'll receive a postcard similar to the one displayed on the screen. On the back of the postcard, it briefly updates them on the project, gives them an idea of what to expect during the exchange process, date, times, and points of contact. It also provides a QR code for the customer to um, go back to our department webpage where the project's located and get additional information if they have questions. As another point of contact, we, we are going to be hanging door notification hangers to the customer. Um, this is if the meter is exchanged properly. Um, or if there's an issue that they couldn't exchange the meter, they'll signify it on the door hanger. The reverse side of that door hanger is actually in Spanish, so customers that um, have Spanish as their primary language can still get that information across. Um, we also have a deployment map that is available on our department webpage on the project. Um, this deployment map allows individuals to type in their address and then um, seamlessly go to their, their home and see what the month and year of the installation period is going to be. Down um, in the uh, project schedule, we have in 2022 some uh, areas that are identified as to be scheduled. The meter installation vendor is going to go ahead and give us an updated time frame in 2022 after they get further along in the production, and then we'll update that map accordingly so the customers have real time information on when the meters can be exchanged. This is an example of the customer portal, Ion Water. This is what's going to be available in 2022 for our customers. It allows them to set their leak notifications preferences. So if they wanted to say, I want to be notified one gallon per minute leak, um, they'll get an email, text, any one of those notifications. It also um, is currently being uh, set up to go along with our billing system so they can have a seamless transition between the two applications. So they can check their bill, um, sign up for 
uh, payment options, and then also check their individual usage. You'll see on the screen that they have the ability to compare um, day to day, month to month, year to year um, usage patterns. So if they want to see how well they're doing with water conservation errors, they can go ahead and do that. With that, I also have a public um, service announcement that I would like to play for you. It's about 2 minutes, 43 seconds. The Chesterfield County Department of Utilities strives to better manage water resources and infrastructure to improve our services. We are embarking on an exciting new project that will upgrade our technology to enhance customer service and provide customers with more ways to manage water use while improving operational efficiency and environmental stewardship. This new project is upgrading all the water meters in Chesterfield County with new advanced metering technology. This project can make a big difference in the way you manage your usage, control your bills, and are notified about potential leaks at your home. While we are excited to begin this project, it will take time to upgrade every meter in the county. Most installations will take place Monday through Friday during regular business hours over the next few years. We are partnering with a water meter installation company, Utility Partners of America, or UPA. The UPA installer will be driving a vehicle with their logo and wearing a uniform and identification. You will receive this postcard when installations begin in your area. You don't need to schedule an appointment or even be home for the installation. You just need to make sure access to your water meter is safe and clear and that pets are secured. We will minimize the disruption to your water service. The installation process should take on average about 30 minutes. The process will start by the installer taking photos of the water meter area. The purpose of the pictures is your insurance that the property is in the same condition after installation as it was before installation. After the pictures are taken, your current meter will then be exchanged with the upgraded meter. Again, this should take about 30 minutes and water service will be restored as soon as the upgrade is complete. When possible, your installer will use an exterior hose spigot to release any air trapped in the line. After the installation process, the installer will leave a door hanger confirming your upgrade was successful. If they are not able to make the upgrade, we'll note on the door hanger the next steps needed. Throughout the implementation of the advanced metering project, Chesterfield Utilities will continue to provide safe, reliable water and wastewater service. As the project progresses, updates will continue to be provided. For more information, visit www.chesterfield.gov forward slash advanced metering. So this public service announcement is on our website with the project page, um, but also we're going to be pushing this out during social media throughout the project so customers stay aware of this. Um, and this um, address is actually where they can go land on the actual project page and get additional information. Um, I would be remiss if I didn't thank my co-project manager, Kathy Sobzak. She's the newest member of the utilities management team. I don't know if you want to go ahead and stand and say hi. Kathy, stand please. Thank you. She's been a tremendous asset with the project, and um, we couldn't accomplish it as far as we have without her. Thank uh, you for being here. Thank you very much. Any comments, questions, board members? Well, uh, Mr. Chairman, I uh, volunteered to be a guinea pig for this uh, advanced metering program, and so far so good. And I appreciate, uh, I mean, utilities came out, they put it in like that, and then we're gone. I didn't even see them. That's how fast they were. So um, I'm looking forward to all the time and efficiency that this will save. Um, your department and, and those working for you to, to make sure that we're providing, you know, number one water quality in, in, uh, in Chesterfield County and, and uh, beyond. So thank you. Thank you for the comments. Thank you.